Welcome back to Film Vloggers. We review films of flog dead horses, so you don't have to. Is this week's film choice a complete waste of your viewing time? Much like flogging slash beating a dead horses, get it? Please head over to www.filmvloggers.com to check out all of our previous vloggings. And while you're there, maybe hang out for a while, look around and vote for our next film. Click on vote or visit www.filmvloggers.com forward slash vote. Are you an idiot? If so, please check out our idiot's guide to reviewing us where even a big dummy like you can leave us a red-hot review. Here at Film Vloggers, we pride ourselves on offering one-star content with five-star effort. Once on the website, please click on Idiot's Guide or visit us at www.filmvloggers.com forward slash review hyphen us. That should have been Idiot's Guide. My fault, I didn't change the URL. Annoying. Once again, filmvloggers.com forward slash review hyphen us. Believe it or not, we now have a Patreon. I know what you're thinking. You have the audacity to ask us to pay to receive more of this. Pause for dramatic effect. Yes. We have a Patreon-exclusive show called Nit Pickers. I think you'll like it. Please visit www.filmflogs.com forward slash support hyphen us. Again, that hyphen is annoying. Should have removed it. Or head straight to our Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash film wafflers. No idea why I did film wafflers. Another mistake. Where you can support us for as little as one British pound. Or a buck fifty. And while you're on the website, punch that big purple subscribe button and tell a friend about the vlog. Wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, mistress, your nan, granddad, your kids. They can tell their friends. They can tell their friends at school about the vlog. But in all seriousness, this really helps the podcast grow and enables us to enrich or ruin the lives of the hundreds of millions of earlobes we haven't reached yet. Happy Halloween, everyone. Cheers. What's all this silence about? I don't like the silent treatment. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, hello, Ben. This is going to be one of our... 50 minutes of vlog. Vlog and 15. Vlogtober films. Vlogoween. Oh, Vlogoween. I think Roy came up with that, actually. Oh, Vlogoween. I like that. Do I? I'm not sure if I do like it, actually. Well, I think, I think it's all a bit lame, isn't it? I don't think, um, I don't think it's meant to be taken too seriously. Like, I'm not sitting here um, with the whiteboard out as such. I am for other stuff, but, you know, I'm not going to take that too seriously. I'm more worried about just getting the 31 films in. And who's going to be doing those 31 films, Ben? Don't know. I'm going to probably have to do a couple of solo ones, I think. I think, I think so, yeah. It's time. I yeah. don't think I can rely on my co-host. I've yeah, time of, is I've a bit, yeah. I've broached the subject with Mackles and I, oh, he's, he's just as useless. I don't know what he's going to bring to the table, to be honest. We'll see. M- maybe you should invite other people onto the show, Ben. Yes, well, well, it's, you know, 15 minutes, so there's ample opportunity, but this is getting recorded in August, so this will be coming out in October, so, you know, I may be dead. Time this comes out, so um, you know, Fiona, would, Fiona would have to have edited this, so could be a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, it won't be, be, it wouldn't be released, Ben, if I had anything to do with it. In my Just memory, in your memory, yes, it wouldn't be released. Disgusting. Right, let's yeah, let's get on with it then. Fifteen minutes of vlog, vlogtober, vlogoween. Tell me the rules. Happy vlogmas. That's for Christmas. Oh, instead of we say move on fuckers, we say happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what well, can we say? Maybe we should start doing that because we have to now stop. Pretending that these episodes... Move on, ghoul. These are our Halloween fit Ooh. episodes. So I've already got a few that I've recorded. I'm not listening to you. I've got all these... Anyway, this is Vlog on 15 quick. Quick, it's quick. Yep, it's quick, quick. to the point. Are so... we Are we going, Ben? Are we starting the timer? What's the rules for oh, the Vlogoween? Rules. Well, I'm not really sure what the rules are for Vlogoween because you just have to it's throw the same. It. Just same. Just same. Just, oh. We're just coming up with Halloween puns. We are reviewing a film in 15 minutes. The first few minutes are talking about a synopsis of five the film. Five minutes, yeah. First few minutes, five minutes, whatever it is. Reviewing the film, talking about the director, not reviewing, the synopsis of the film, the director and the characters. Then we'll get into the nishi grishy of the it. Meat, the meat of the review. The nishi gritty. And I will give three pieces of trivia, which are obviously amazing. And then in the last 30 seconds, Ben shits himself. Ben shit in 30 seconds. 30 seconds of shit. Yeah, and... <laughs> If we are bored of the other one, which I always am, or that's Ben, we just want them to move on. We will say move on, fucker, or in this case, happy Halloween. Mm. Or maybe we should just do a scream, like, ah, or something. No, that's not overcomplicated. Oh, I, okay. I overcomplicate pretty much everything else I do. Okay, okay, well, you could do one of your sound things, though. Again, over, it's just okay, 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 cool. And then once the fifteen second, fifteen minutes are over. We're not allowed to talk about the film again, but we do. So do one of my sound things. What? So I take the time to stop, <laughs> go over there, press the the sound box for you to then hear it. To then, go, well, maybe. 
Oh, he likes we'll it. We'll see how we the get on. The fogger likes we'll it. see how we get on. Please. Right, I am going to hit the timer, Ben. Yeah, okay. Are you ready? No. All right. Go, go, go. So today, what are we doing, Ben? A quiet place. Oh, do you know what I got on IMDb? 7.5 out of 10. I thought it was going to probably be higher. Do you know what this is about? Do you want me to tell them? Okay. A film struggles tell for the, survival. Tell the listeners, yeah. If you stop interrupting me, Ben. Don't have time for this. A film struggles... <laughs> A family struggles for survival in a world where most humans have been killed by a blind but noise-sensitive creatures. They are forced to communicate in sign language to keep the creature at bay. Well, I guess for them it was quite convenient that they had a deaf child, so they were mm. already doing the sign language. So Yeah, very convenient. I'm assuming the sign language is all, all on point. What's well, going to be, isn't it? Cause yes, the, it is. It's American the, Sign Language. The, actor, the, the girl is actually deaf. So Yes. Directed by... Ben? I can't say his this name. This is not my bit, Fiona. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, John Karashkinki. Karashinki? Yeah. Why don't you just say it how it's spelled? Well, I spelled it wrong right. a few times, so. Yeah. I'm not really sure what he's been in. He's been in The Office. The Office? <laughs> the Office. What, the post office? And he is also plays Lee, the husband in this movie. Emily Blunt is Evelyn Abbott, who is the wife, and she's known for a Devil Wears Prada, Jungle Cruise, which we just have to do, which is lovely. Well, and Girl well, months, on the Train. Months ago, that'll be months ago now. And, oh God, Millicent Simmons plays Regan, which is their deaf daughter, which you pointed out. She is actually deaf in real life. When she was, when she was younger, she was given an overdose of medi- medication, which caused her to lose her hearing. Um, she, really, that's, that's grim, yeah, isn't it? Grim she taught the crew and the cast sign language. They also had somebody else come in to do some sign language stuff. But yeah, she taught some of the cast and crew for that. So yeah, and John actually, just when you're talking about the director and... I wasn't, but yeah. He actually plays the creature in a, oh, I don't know, something motion suit in some of the scenes. Capture motion suit in some of the scenes. Yeah, okay. So yeah, he's a busy man. God, and him, today, this volume. Him and Emily are married in real life together. Yes, I know that, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's it really. Right, okay. I yeah. didn't really do anything about the two boys because, yeah. Well, one of them was only around for about two minutes. Exactly, yeah. Right, well, that's it, yeah. Yeah, so what do you think of John? Is this now, are we, is that Yep, it? yep, we can move so on, Ben. moving on to the yep. meat. we can move on to the okay. nitty gritty. Great. So what do you think of this film, Ben? Well, it's pretty good, yeah. For modern horror, it's it's definitely up there that you don't, well, I, I can't, are they having a bit of a renaissance horror films? Maybe a little bit with Shudder and... I can see the shadow of Dave. Oh, there's all, there's <laughs> loads of them, there's loads of them. We haven't got time. Is horror coming back? Maybe, or maybe you know, some people would say it never went away, but it's it's been not as good. Maybe the mm. last the nineties and the two thousand. So, yeah, this is good. This is a good modern horror. Well, I was a bit. I got a shocker, didn't I? Because I'd never seen this film obviously before, and I was very upset at the beginning because I realised there was no talking in it, and I couldn't understand why there was no talking in it. But I actually really enjoyed it. It got me. You kind of figure Hope, out. Line you, and you figure out pretty quick why there's, they're not talking. Yeah, I know. You? I know, but I don't like silent films, well, do I? Saying that, yeah. I know it's not a silent film, but you know what I mean. Even though you've actually never sat and watched a silent film. Yeah, no, I didn't. You will be soon. Nosferatu. I'm not watching Nosferatu. Yes, yeah, so we're doing Nosferatu. So just on that point, oh, your man John wanted the movie to be done um, to be able to work with no sound at all before he started adding the spoken dialogue, music, and sound effects. So if you were to actually watch the music, the movie on mute, it's edited so you can enjoy it that way. The original script only had one line of spoken dialogue in it, and even the crew had to be quiet. Okay. That's three that's, pieces of trivia and one. <laughs> that's all your trivia? No, that's three pieces of trivia and one. Right, let's just hope that's all of it, because, that, yeah, okay. Anyway, so I think the opening is pretty well done. I think it's set up quite well. So the sick kid, the other kid... Was it 89 days? So yeah. we're 89 days into whatever's going on. This post-apocalyptic world we're now in. With the creatures running around. So the little kid running around. He's young, doesn't know what he's doing. He's, you know, he's potentially making noise. The deaf girl, the daughter, mm-hmm. it zooms in on the on the uh, the hearing aid. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, right, okay. It's not a hearing aid. It's a cochlear implant. Right. It's a hearing aid, isn't it? It's a cl- cochlear implant, but it's not a hearing aid. Right, so they're, they're two different things, are they? Yes, they're completely different things. Oh, right. Oh, what's it called? A cochlear implant. A cochlear. <laughs> cochlear. Cochlear. <laughs> Right, fine. Yeah. What's a hearing aid then? A hearing aid helps you to hear because you've got a little bit of hearing. A cochlear implant is where you've got no hearing whatsoever and it actually sends transmissions to Oh, right. Ear. Okay, fine. Great. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. didn't know that. Good. Good info. So set up well. Maybe you think it's zooming in because she's deaf. And you're like, oh, right, yeah, we just need to know she's deaf. That's what's going on. But it, obviously at the end, 
that has a big part to play. It does, very important part. So I think the the whole idea of the the kid being snatched and killed by the the monster, I think that's pretty well done, set up nicely. That was actually meant to be a flashback scene. That. Right. I think the uh, I'd have preferred if we just didn't see the batteries. The whole thing where he goes, you know, tells them off, goes, you need to be quiet. We need to be silent. If we're not mm. silent, we die. We're just not... And, and then just walks off again. I know the other kid's sick and stuff, but he just walks off and then let's not see him pick up the batteries again. The mm. scene's very well done. You well, surely like, to God he'd know he's, he had to be quiet. Well, he's only a kid. He's like, what, five? Or right, yeah, that's true. So, you know, it's good because you're like, oh, God, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Into- oh, no, he's dead. Fine. But maybe let's just not see the batteries. I wonder if he picked those batteries up again. Oh, my God, he did. Yeah, because you were ruining the film for me, weren't you? You were just like, oh, he's going to do it. And I was like, nah, he's not going to do it. Yes. Why can I ask a question? So the kid's dead. They're walking through the town. No shoes, no nothing on because they make a lot of noise. How? Why the fuck did she get preggers? You tell me, I don't know. So yeah. there was a maybe, bit of trivia. Maybe should have refrained from it. There was a bit that. of trivia about that. And it was basically saying that um, it was kind of to make up for the loss of their son. And that's why. But it's... Babies cry. Well, he's got the he's got, he's is got loud. This, he's got this box, this this coffin with this oxygen mask. Oh, they're good to go. The baby's going to be. I imagine everyone's life's going to be pretty so, shit for the first three or four years, at least, with well, the baby crying and navigating that. But I'm sure after that they'll be great. Right. I'm just not really sure why you would want to give birth in a world where you're not allowed making noise. I'm assuming they didn't plan it. Surely, maybe they've just got bored one day. They've gone, oh, you know, oh, natural urges, or oh, we can't Ooh. resist anymore. It's been a pretty boring last six months. Let's have a bit of silence. Let's have just a one-off. Or maybe, I don't know, who knows. But I'm assuming there was, it was an accident, for surely. Well, sure. I know they're mourning the loss of their son, but like... But how many days are we in now? I don't know. What does it skip forward? 400 it skips, and something? skips forward like a year, doesn't it? Oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. I'm treating this like a normal review. Right? We yeah, need to, no, we need to speed you up. do. Seven minutes. What's the setup with these creatures? There's no name for them. There's no name for them, no. So they've got, they've got weird. no other thing then. All they can do is they've got this... You know, just ridiculous hearing. Yeah. This very sensitive hearing, which is but they don't... a million percent more than humans or whatever. What is the tagline? If they hear you, they hunt you. They actually don't kill you. They attack, but they don't kill. That, right. They're never meant to kill. So it's written on his board. You. Yeah, they're written on his board. Why don't they eat or why don't they kill? Doesn't matter, does it? Because if, yeah, they, they're if big they attack fuckers. you, you're dead. So it doesn't what matter. do you think of the CGI, Ben? I have to ask you. Oh, well, you know, reasonably low budget for this. The part two doubled i imagine or quadrupled the budget right, of course well horrible yeah yeah i think the creature design's actually quite good it's not but it's not too yeah. bad it's I, you know, I don't need it i like not seeing it i could have watched this film and just never seen them or just very fleeting shots of them mm. you know the bits where it's in the house and it's coming down the stairs was that practical well, did probably we need, not that did probably we need wasn't to practical see, did we need to see the ears that's what got well, me well, the ears or inside yeah. the mouth and all that. Well, apparently, well, yeah, I guess so. Why did we, I need to see that? Because we just need to know what they're doing and what their setup is. You know, that's how they're finding them. They're very sensitive when it comes to their hearing. But so then, we've got to zoom in on this CGI fucking earlobe. But then surely to God that makes sense, that the hearing aid and the loud noises that they hear is going to drive them insane. Drive surely. Who, drive who insane? The creature's insane. Because if you're quite very sensitive to hearing, that means you've got really good hearing. So if you're doing a high-pitched bee well, noise, know, but that, that's going to drive you insane. Well, I know. We did, didn't it? That's the point. But why didn't they figure this out years ago? Well, it's not been years, is it? Well, it's, it's been a year. Well, because half the, the, the planet have been killed off or whatever. Oh, yeah. I assume they first that's were true. like, oh, let's just blow them up. Let's just shoot, bring the army in. Let's just... That didn't work because they've got this armour skin or whatever. And, they, and to get through to their... The reason Emily Blunt and co can kill one at the end... Is because it, it starts, starts having, starts having a, like a you know a seizure, and then the armor comes off the face or the the head, and it exposes their oh, inside the of their, their side. whatever you know. It's not brain, is it? But yeah. that's when she shoots it because it's it's kind of weak from the, oh, the frequency. I of wonder the, why. What's it called? Not the hearing aid. Sorry, the cochlear implant. The cochlear implant. Yeah. <laughs> right, quick, God. What else have we got? Jesus. I didn't like the ending. Not gonna lie. Well, it just sets up part two, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but I didn't like it. I wrote on my board, on my thing, bad ending, <laughs> to sum it up. <laughs> yeah, well, what, do you mean right at the end? Like the, yeah, when just, she cocks the shotgun and goes, Just oh, where she go. was just like, with the daughter, gave each other this look. Yeah. You ready to go, just girl? Just sets up part two. And you're just like, no, mom, I'm not. You got the, the idea of the daughter and, and the dad, and, and she thinks that the dad blames her. And Well, yeah, fine. For the death well, no, of his son. Don't blame for the death of the other son. It's the parenting. He should have just taken the boy and just picked him up away. Well, surely to God, you wouldn't leave your youngest son trailing behind well, you. Well, I know, but yeah, well, yeah, exactly. But I guess they would say, well, you know, we had this other kid that was sick, so we, you know, we're holding him. And well, what's Emily Blunt doing? She's not holding him. She's walking behind him. Not a care in the yeah. world. 
you don't have your five year old at the back, no. do you? I think you have him, you know, in the middle or at the front because he's fucking five or whatever. Yes. Just just in case he starts running off and, and you know, less managed, starts doing something like plays with a, a spaceship. Oh dear, <laughs> with batteries. Yes. <laughs> Oh god! What was I going to say? What was I going to say? We've talked about the yeah, the baby and the oxygen mask. Yeah, just a point. Oh, no, I was going to say I was going to say about the the idea of the dad and the daughter, and obviously the daughter thinks it's her fault, and and the dad, yes, you know, even though that. she doesn't know that her dad is going down in the basement for all this time, trying to fix her cochlear implant. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's all that, and obviously they don't know, and they they don't communicate very well, and yada yada yada. She thinks he doesn't love her and stuff. Quite an emotional bit at the end when he sacrificed himself. I have always loved you. Yes. Yes. That was her idea, actually. Melissa Sint, or whatever her name is. It was her idea to put that line in. I guess that's kind of interesting because mm. I'm sure the child fears that the parent doesn't love them or whatever. So, you know, well, they had that chat. He had that chat with the son, didn't he? And that's, he didn't, he didn't realise anything before that. He just thought he's been, she was being awkward. She didn't realise, oh, maybe it's because he well, didn't realise it was because... It's just a classic thing, yeah. isn't it? You know, parents do everything for their kids and sometimes there's just that miscommunication, isn't there? You yeah, know, just... Why not just tell her? He's like, yeah, we by... can't, you can't talk, Ben. Oh, I know, but just, just tell She can't hear. Just say, oh, look, by the way, love, Regan, I'm down there in the basement all day trying to fix your, uh, your hearing aid. Mm. But she knows that, so... the cochlear implant. Yeah. She knows that because... Well, she doesn't know it, does she? She does, because well, she doesn't. when she says oh, it, no, she's she just, it doesn't off. work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. she's, I'm not trying this. Right. But then we get the bit that right at the end when like we see all the all the you know the manuals and, and you know yes. all this stuff. And she's yes. like, God, that's so good. He's been just down here toiling yeah, away. she's touched. What else? What else? Christ. The bat scene. Uh, where she bath. where she has the baby and the bat. That's, that that's, was done in one shot. This is what? Just let himself through the front door. He just starts mincing around upstairs. He's like, all right. You didn't even hear him come in. Mm. And then that, like, the nail on the on the board. Like, what's, why, is it, why is there a nail in the middle? It got caught in the thing. No, but it's right in the middle of the step. Well, yeah, that's true. What's that uh, nail doing? It's just bad, bad handyman. Well, it's just then. there for Emily Blunt to stand on. Well, yeah. Ouch, that looked quite painful oh, yeah. as well. Terrible, Jesus yeah. Christ. And her with the water's broke as and well. And also, what's, what's the setup with the, um, the soundproof thing? Near the end, where well, he just puts a mattress. Just puts a mattress on top of it. Is yeah, the mattress but, soundproof? Yeah, but don't forget. No, no, although they're not soundproof, don't forget that they're blind, so they wouldn't be able to lift up the mattress to get in there. But surely they're able to push through a fucking it, saw mill. But if it knew it was, if the the alien knew they were in there, I'm sure they could pull the mattress aside. There was something written on his whiteboard though about soundproofing, so maybe he was doing other stuff in that room to well, soundproof. No, it. that's fine, but it's just the mattress. The mattress isn't soundproof, is it? Well, it's no, it's just a fucking rackety old mattress. No, and and when he was leaving to look for the kids, surely he would have seen that water, heard that water dripping. It's a well, silent world. Well, I think it just started dripping when he was just walking out of the barn door, wherever they were. Mm, surely she would have woken up. But on that point, what else? The Quick. scene where the baby is floating in the box threw a lot of people off. I'd have said it was fake because they could, didn't, couldn't imagine that there would be a baby like floating in water. And um, it was real. And John said it was the hardest scene to shoot. And he was on the edge, but it was done in two oh, takes. Oh Jesus! Uh, Jesus. Okay, Ben, go, go, go. Yeah, your uh, twenty seconds. Yeah, yeah. Good film. Good film. Good modern horror. Um, a good, a good setup. Yeah, there's obviously a couple of not plot holes, but a couple of silliness with the alien. I'm not completely sold on it. CGI again. Ugh. Um, yeah, good. A very good, good. Uh, you know, kind of original take on on this kind of concept. Hmm. And will you watch the second one? What's your, you never give your summary for Because Fiona. there's never any time, Quickly, Ben. Give it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. I didn't like the ending. And yes, I will watch the second one. Woo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Brilliant. That's life. fantastic. <laughs> Ooh, God, I, I need, can talk fast. One of the main reasons I wanted to do this 50 minutes of vlog, well, there's lots of reasons, but I need, to, I need to have a bit at the end. I need to have a bit for the first. No, you seconds. just shit yourself, Ben. No, but... And I, you don't even give me a chance I to only, talk yes, usually. I only shit myself because I don't have a couple of lines, the title, subtitle, 30 second bit. There you go, Ben. Just read that. I don't have it. I've just got notes here, which I've condensed the best I can, considering my illness. Yep. Ben, right. say these Wait. at the end of your... You know, say this. This will take 10 to 15 seconds. Perfect. I haven't done it yet. And that leaves me with 15 seconds. But I, I'm talking... I'm talking this is in the future. So hopefully by the time this comes out in October, I'd be a pro at this. Yeah. And we can condense it down well, to then, five minute vlog. Oh. <laughs> All we can do is live and learn. That could be quite fun. Practice makes five, perfect. A five minute Yeah, that's vlog. not going to happen then. Unless it's really shit films. Like Jungle Cruise. We well, could have done that in five uh, seconds. Five minutes. films in, not it? That would just be <laughs> screaming. I'd like, just be screaming. Yeah, we'd be talking over each other. Quick! Yeah, exactly. You'd be too busy. Well, what time is it? What time is it? And they'd be gone. Be over and done with. But then, you know, refreshing. Because then you'd go, well, there's no point in having, having half a page of notes. I'll just have two bullet points. So, you know, maybe there you go. Maybe. Five minute vlog may be out by the time you vlog hear this. Vlog and five. Five and... F- um, no, it's not working for me. Right. Uh, yes, say all the stuff then. What stuff? Oh, you can find us on 
Where do you find us? Uh, the Facebook, the Twitter, Instagram, and are you still on the TikTok? Why do you say the Facebook, the Twitter, and you don't say the Instagram? I don't know. I don't even realise I'm doing it bit. Yeah, okay. Anyways, and the Twitch as well. <laughs> I did the Twitch. Yeah, well, hopefully by October. We don't God's... do the Twitch, though. Well, we don't like the Twitch. let's hope. Let's hope it's, it's picked up somehow. Maybe we should do the horror, the horror, the scary one that we were doing, Demon Souls. Is that the one? No. Um... What, do you want to restart that for Halloween? No, that, not that Demon Souls. That would make a bit of sense. Yeah, Until Dawn. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that would make you. a bit of sense if we yeah. kind of tried. Ooh. But that means we'd have to restart it. Oh, maybe we should. But the whole, no. the whole thing of this Twitch stuff is that you, you kind of need to just do this for no. the first few months and just go, do you know what? Let's just restart. Okay, maybe. That's kind of no. the point, isn't it? I'm not restarting maybe it. Maybe we Sorry. can restart. You're missing what I'm saying, Ben. I'm saying I'm not restarting it. But you wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> That's true. Know. We'd just play it again. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> That's you go, true. oh, what's this bit? Oh, it's just the next bit. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, yes, reviews, you know, rate and review. Good pod. I've tried to get into good pods. Hopefully by this point, I've, I've got into it a bit more. It's like Goodreads. Well, you know, it's good. You know, you can go on and just review individual episodes, which is good. Mm, good. Five stars, lots of people on there. So, yeah, good pods were on there. So give us a you five like. star, in other words. Especially for this Vlogtober, Vlogoween. You know, I'm apparently there's, fabulous. There's going to be 31 episodes, so lots to... Lots to review. We'll see about that. Apple, obviously, you know, they're, they're still around. So review there. Pod chaser. What else? What else do people ask for at the end? Maybe for you to finish. I'd like some money at some point. <laughs> I'd like to get a Patreon on the go. People want to just start give, give me money. What's that? I didn't know you could do that. Patreon. It's it's like um. Oh, well, it's, you, cool. Basically, you provide extra content for a, a subscription. Right, and where are you going to pull that out of your arse, Ben? Well, people can start paying you a. Uh, a monthly subscription. Okay. Well, that's why I'm not going to do it because it's just silly. There's no point me going, right, this is it. I can quit the job. I can quit everything. Brilliant. And then obviously I sit here six months later and I've got no Patreon. <laughs> and go, I can't believe it. What the fuck's going on? I can't well, believe it. On that note, good luck. That's it. Right, that's yes. It. Flog a weed. We're off. Woo. Woo. That's my boo. Have you endured many sleepless nights? Tossing and turning. Dreaming of a podcast where a man awkwardly attempts to waffle you to sleep whilst reviewing a film. Please head over to www.filmvloggers.com where you can find out more information on the Waffler. I'll see you in your dreams. Or nightmare.